Shalom, beloved. Our verse for today is the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verse 27. It reads, Martha said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. Today, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Martha, brother of Lazarus and Mary. Of Martha, we remember more often her encounter with Jesus when she was serving and Mary was listening. And she came to Jesus to complain. And Jesus said, Mary, Mary has chosen the better part. But Martha is a character that teaches us faith in the Bible. This aspect of her comes out very well in her encounter with Jesus at the death of Lazarus in John chapter 11. As people were consoling her and the sister Mary, she heard that Jesus was coming. True to her character and outgoing person, she left the place and began to go looking for Jesus. And when she saw Jesus, she expressed what her faith was. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But she didn't stop here. She said something. Even now, the Lord can do for you whatsoever you ask of him. What a faith. And Jesus had a very deep conversation with her. And when Jesus had declared, I am the resurrection and the life, she said in reply, Yes, Lord, I believe you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. In this answer, Martha expressed three terminologies. Three messianic terminologies. You are the Christ, the Messiah. You are the Son of God. You are the one coming into the world. These are Jewish expressions at the time of Jesus of the one whom they were waiting for. The Messiah promised David in the days of old. So Mary is expressing a deep faith in here Jesus, you are that one we are waiting for. You are the Messiah. And we know the rest of the story. Beloved brothers and sisters, Mary is known, Martha, sorry, is known to be an outgoing person. Martha is known to be an extrovert. But that did not take away the depth of her faith. Some say her faith grew after her encounter with Jesus in that service scenario. That may be it. But important is that she did not lose who she was, but she was a very strong person in the faith. Whoever we are, whatsoever work we do, how However, it is that we encounter people, however we are created, faith is not only for the contemplatives. Faith is for everybody. We must take time every time to ponder on the basis of our faith. May the work we do never distract us from strengthening our faith day by day. May the work we do never deviate our attention from recognizing in Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world, the answer to all the problems of the world. And as we express our faith, may the Lord bring us closer and closer to him and may goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives until we see him face to face. Amen. Amen. Remain blessed in the Lord.